Dear students, in this video, we are going to discuss various feeding techniques of microstrip patch antenna. So, how to excite a microstrip patch antenna for radiation? How an antenna will get radiated? Yeah, so there are various techniques. Let us see what are the various techniques which are used for excitation of patch of microstrip antenna. Okay, for radiation. For radiation. Okay. So here there are two techniques are there. So feeding techniques coming to the feeding techniques. There are two techniques out there. Feeding techniques. There are two techniques out there. One means contact type. The other one means non-contact type. Non-contact type. Okay. So what is meant by this contact type and what is meant by this non-contact type? Okay, here contact type means whatever the feeding element is there that will be directly connected to the patch. Okay, so if you provide excitation, so here patch is there. Okay, so whatever the technique, uh, whatever the, this is, for example, if this is feed line, so there is a direct contact between this feed line to the patch. Means if you provided here excitation, Okay, uh, directly it will pro uh, uh, it will make the patch to uh, excite. Okay, so this is feeding. Whereas non-contact type. Okay, here there is no physical connection between the strip line and the patch. Uh, the, there is no the uh, there is no direct contact between the feed element and the patch. Okay, so they are connected by electromagnetically coupling. They are connected by through electromagnetic coupling. Let us see what are the techniques that comes under contact type. Okay, there are coming to the contact type, there are two types. One is line feed. Okay, so micro strip line feed. Micro strip line feed. And second one is coaxial probe feed. Coaxial probe feed. Okay, so these are the two techniques that comes under contact. So what are the two techniques that comes under non-contact type is proximity feed microstrip and the other one is aperture coupled. The other one is aperture coupled. Okay, so totally we are having four techniques. Totally we are having four techniques. This is the first one, microstrip line. Second one, coaxial probe, which comes under contact type. And third one, proximity feed microstrip. And the fourth one, aperture coupled microstrip. This comes under non contact. Okay, let us see one by one. Okay, so totally we are having four techniques. These two comes under contact type, and these two comes under non contact type. Let us see one by one. Okay, so let us see the first one. Okay, let us see the first one that is microstrip line feed. Okay, so this comes under contact type. This comes under contact type. Contact type means, okay, if you observe here, so in this diagram, here the patch is there. Here, this is our patch. This is our patch. Okay. So, this patch, okay, whatever the patch we are having, here directly it is, this is the feed element. Here, this is feed element. Okay. So, you are exiting this patch using this feed element. Okay. So, what is this feed? This is nothing but microstrip. Directly, this microstrip line is touching this uh, patch, and you are making you are, you are provide feeding here through this. The patch will get excited and it will radiate. Okay, it will radiate. Okay, so this is a direct method. Okay, so this is a direct method, and the construction and easy of designing in this is very easy. The design in this, the design is easy, but uh, so directly, so in this contact with extremely smaller than the width of the radiating surface. So the feed line offers very itching on the substrate. The feed line to the structure can be provided either at the center or inset or sometimes, sometimes we may give here offset or inset under type means, for example, if this is the patch, if this is the patch, we we'll simply provide if this is the patch. So this also comes under inset feed. This is all inset feed. 
Okay, so for impedance matching, we are doing like this. For impedance matching, we are doing like this. So this is easy to construct. Okay, easy to uh, construct, and we can place anywhere. Okay, so I can place here or I can place here for impedance matching. Okay, the placement of the strip line. Okay, you can place anywhere. Okay, so you can vary along the patch like this. You can vary along the patch like this. Okay, so what are the disadvantages? Here, the disadvantage, main disadvantage is, is having low bandwidth. Low bandwidth. And the other one is cross polarization problem. Cross polarization problem. In so this is the first technique that is micro strip line which comes under contact type where the strip is directly connected to the patch. Let us go to the second technique. Okay, so the second technique is coaxial probe feeding technique. Okay, so in this coaxial probe feeding technique, okay, so see here. So we have already seen the coaxial probe. What is meant by coaxial probe? It consists of hmm, outer conductor and inner conductor. So this is inner conductor. And this is outer conductor. So this is nothing but the coaxial probe. This is outer cylinder, and the bottom one is inner cylinder. Okay, as we know that the any microstrip patch can consist of bottom layer is ground, and this one is substrate, and the top one is patch. Okay, so you want to provide excitation for the patch. How will you achieve this? Okay, so here I have taken a coaxial cable. This is the outer conductor. So this inner conductor. If you observe this inner conductor, so this inner connector that comes from ground means I want to drill a hole in the ground. Similarly, I want to drill in the substrate. And through this, the inner connector tip comes and touches the patch. So if you provided here excitation, if you provided here excitation uh, feeding, okay, the waves will travel like and makes the patch to radiate. It makes the patch to radiate. Here also the feeding element, the, what is the feeding element here? Coaxial probe. It is also directly touching the, here in this case also it is directly, uh, it is also directly touching the patch. So this also comes under uh, contact. This uh, this technique also comes under contact. Thing. Okay, so because the, uh, the coaxial inner conductor of the coaxial cable is directly touching the patch. So uh, this is also here, uh, here we can, so for example, this is the patch. Okay. So generally from here, the inner conductor, generally, generally where we can drill the hole from bottom. So generally the preferred one is on the patch along the diagonal, either here or either here or either here or either here or either here. Along the generally, we will drill the hole from the bottom of the patch on the diagonals in order to get better impedance match in order to get better impedance matching so we can place uh, the drilling at anywhere on the diagonals of the patch anywhere on the diagonals of the that is the advantage in order to get better radiation so what are the disadvantages here uh, the disadvantages is here also low bandwidth and cross polarization low bandwidth and Cross polarization. So this also comes under contact type. So now we have completed two techniques that comes under contact. One is micro strip feed line, and second one is coaxial probe feed line. Okay, let us come to non-contact. Okay, non-contact. Okay. So non-contact means here there is no contact, direct contact between feeding element and the uh, patch. Okay, so see here. Yeah, let us see. This is contactless technique. The first one, proximity coupled feed. This is non-contact technique. Non-contact technique. Okay, so here, if you observe here, here patch is there. Okay, here patch is there. Here two substrates are there. Substrate one and substrate two. Substrate one and substrate two. So here, where you are taking this strip line, you are taking this strip line in between these two substrates. Okay, so this is substrate one. For example, if this is the substrate one. Okay, so this is the substrate one okay and this is second substrate this is second substrate this is second substrate okay in between on the top of the first substrate on the top of the first substrate you are taking the strip so see here if you observe here this is your first substrate this is your second substrate so this is your 
patch. Okay, so here you are taking the strip line means in between substrate 1 and substrate 2, you are incorporating the strip. You are going to incorporate in the strip. Okay, so here there is no direct contact between the strip line and patch. Okay, but how they are coupled? But how they are coupled? They are coupled through electromagnetic coupling. They are coupled through electromagnetic coupling. They are coupled through electromagnetic coupling. Okay, so this comes under non contact type. Okay, this comes under non contact type. Okay, so what are the advantages? Okay, so advantages it provides higher bandwidth. Okay, in the various uh, previous two techniques, provides lesser bandwidth. Here, uh, they provide a higher uh, bandwidth uh, as well as uh, they also produce low cross polarization. They also produce low cross polarization this other other advantage so the first advantage is the first advantage is they will provide the first one higher bandwidth second advantage is they produce low cross polarization low cross polarization the third one is the they also produce low spurious radiations low Yes, okay, so these are the advantages of proximity coupled fitting. These are the advantages of proximity coupled fitting. But what is the disadvantage here? Disadvantage means here how many substrates you are taking? Two substrates. So two substrates means size of the uh, structure automatically increases. So it requires multi-layer fab fabrication. Multi-layer fabrication. And the alignment is important for impedance mismatch. Okay, so this is the third technique that comes and this is the technique that comes under non-contact type. Okay, so let us go to the next one. So the next one is aperture coupled patch. Aperture coupled patch. So in this aperture coupled patch, in this aperture coupled patch, how you will provide this also comes under non-contact type. This also comes under non-contact type. So here what we will take? Okay, so this is substrate one. This is substrate 1. This is substrate 2. So, substrate 1 and substrate 2 are separated by ground. Substrate 1 and substrate 2 are separated by ground. On the substrate 1, we are having patch which is radiating element. On the substrate 1, we are having patch which is a radiating element. So, how will you provide excitation? For this? In, the top, in the bottom of the uh, second substrate we have taken micro strip line on the bottom of the second one we have taken here. So, this is this yellow color indicates the uh, micro strip line. Yellow color indicates the micro strip line. Okay, so see here. Here, what I have done this I have made a hole for ground, I have made a slot for the ground which is present between substrate one and substrate two. I have made a ground. Okay. So, here I provide excitation. Here I have provided excitation. So, due to this electromagnetic interference, okay. So, to this slot, to this, through this, through this slot, so through this slot, okay. So, the patch get through uh, radiated through electromagnetic coupling, electro. So here also there is no physical contact. Okay, so this also comes under non-contact type. This also comes under non-contact type. Okay, so what are the advantages? So the advantages, it allows planar feeding. Field line radiation is isolated from patch radiation. So it also produces higher bandwidth. It also produces higher bandwidth. Okay, so allows to use of different substrates. It allows to use of different substrates to optimize the antennas and circuit performance okay uh, and it also produces um, it also uh, by using this technique we will get uh, low spurious radiation low spurious radiation okay coming to the disadvantage here also two substrates are required so multi-layer uh, fabrication is required multi-layer fabrication is required and alignment is important for input match okay so these are the four techniques which are useful for excitation of microstrip patch antenna microstrip patch antenna